Captain's Log, Stardate 192.168.1.25. I am joined by my science officer on this beautiful planet that we call Factorio. My name is Captain Twitchy, and we have been here for so long that we no longer are actually alone, but we have robots everywhere. Hello, Captain... Uh, no, no, I'm Captain. Hello, science <laughs> officer. How are you doing? Oh, yeah, be beautiful intro, as always. The Captain's Log starts strong. <laughs> Captain, sometimes I really wonder, am I just part of your imagination? I mean, I don't know that you're not a, 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 a humunculus put here by high command just to continue the testing process. We've, we've spoken of this in the past, and of course, because you are either crashed here with me or part of the process, you're always going to deny knowledge of everything. So uh, it, it's, a bit, it's a bit hard to trust anything you say going forwards from here. <laughs> But I think, I think I will just work under the assumption that you are indeed the science officer that I uh, signed up to the, the the ship. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> uh, and, and move on under the assumption that we're all just good people here. <laughs> <laughs> That's an assumption, I guess. <laughs> I, I, I find it to be the safest assumption. I do find it to be so. Okay, Captain. Okay. So... <laughs> So we, we have we have some minor troubles that we are uh, taking care of immediately. Uh, the first thing that you are taking care of is the fact that to extend all these uh, smelteries out, we kind of destroyed a whole load of the stone processing area, which means we're uh, drastically short of rail railroads. So you're going to be going around and doing that. I have noticed that if we come over towards the green green circuit production, this this little bunch of machines over here we're not producing green circuits anywhere near fast enough and that's because we're not making copper uh, copper plates anywhere near fast enough thankfully we've just made a whole load of stuff that is going to help me uh, to extend this down so what i need to do is break this here i'm just going to get into my like my talky voice as i start making stuff <laughs> <laughs> Your talky voice. My talky, yeah, just 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 my general talky voice. No longer am I in uh, report to high command mode. We're just generally making voices. <laughs> generally making. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Welcome to being stuck on the planet for too long. <laughs> oh look, we've got a little mm. warning down below. My my safety bri uh, my safety wall down by Chuck Norris terminal. Not that Chuck Norris actually needs a safety wall, but I put him on there anyway. Uh, it seems to be functioning quite well. That's pretty good. I, I do enjoy the fact that the natives really aren't giving us a lot of hassle because of the uh, the groundwork we've put down. Uh, pretty cool. Well, yeah, I guess um, uh, they're really passive. <laughs> really passive. More passive than you would expect natives to be, but that's fine. We can go around and do that. Deal with that. Yes. Um, do you know what our power situation is, Captain? Power situation, I believe, is... Yeah, we are producing much more power well we have the ability to produce much more power than we currently are uh, we're making 30 megawatts and uh, at my rough estimation i would say that we could make two 250 give or take we're, we're, we're quite low down maybe using a fifth of the power uh, maybe even less than that sixth eighth uh do you think we should completely switch to solar or uh still use uh, coal and, uh, if we have the opportunity to switch to full solar i mean it's nice not to aggravate the locals any more than we need to a lot of robots flying around and assembling another solar panel field uh, to be fair i am all about those solar panel fields though how many robots do we have flying at any one time do we know uh we do we have 284 robots that are construction based and 101 uh, logistic logistics robots, robot. basically. Wow, that's, that's... The robots that bring stuff to you. Yeah, yeah, that's that's some good numbers. Good numbers. I mean, of course, if we could have several thousand, that would work quite nicely as well, but I'm, I'm wondering how well the uh, the obvious simulation that we find ourselves in would handle that. <laughs> uh, we've, we've spoken about this before in the past as well. Uh, Captain, I do need to point out that it's really disturbing when you talk about that simulation. <laughs> Um, uh, whilst I understand your, your, your troubles with such uh, far-thinking, philosophical ideas... Philosophical, you heard me. Uh, <laughs> I must insist that it's quite alright. Is right. that another twitchy word? That, that is. That's uh, Captain Twitchy's uh, captain's words. Uh, philosophical. We do need to figure out a way to 
well, deliver more iron than we are gonna be. That's gonna be a hard job, actually, to do. Uh, what, the delivery throughput, or just getting... Uh, the iron delivery, actually. Uh, oh, Captain, I'm surprised the robots have managed to make the entire thing. Are they, uh, the copper or the solar? Uh, no, 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 the, the solar. Let's, let's check this out on the map. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's missing the robo-port. Oh, no, that's yeah. stopped complaining, is it? No, no, it's not stopped complaining. Yeah, it needs we a robo-port. We have no robo-port construction. I think that's the problem. Do we not? What a massive oversight. Why would we do that? <laughs> because it is us that... <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying we partake in massive oversights? This doesn't sound like us at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I am not saying anything. <laughs> Good thing we didn't put any speech synthesizers in the robots, they would just constantly be complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine the the complaints these robots would have? Oh, do I have to carry this much? Why did you do that? That's really, really made our job difficult. Uh, <laughs> things like this. Did you uh, clear it all up? Beautiful yep. work, beautiful work. Our chests are a mess. That's alright, the robots are the only ones that need to know how to use it. <laughs> We have more coal in the chest than and copper, actually. We have so much copper ore in chest. Copper oh, ore in God. the chest. Yeah. Okay, we can we can fix that almost instantly. Let's uh, pick all these out here. It's a shame they don't the chests don't organize themselves in the same way that your inventory does. Uh, one of the greatest things about using your inventory is being able to like click from where you're at and just carry on going. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right about there being more coal in these boxes than uh, <laughs> necessary. <laughs> well, then is it on the belts? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we just need a uh, so we need a provider. Well, we need better chests. That that's the thing. We do. Yes. Uh, let me through. see. That's this. Oh, we need purple science and yellow science. Purple science and yellow science. Now these are two things we do not have right now. Yeah. A purple we might have. Do we have purple? No. Wait. We, we know. I know we have red, green, blue, and grey. Okay, and grey. Grey's the military one. Okay, that's important. Yes. How do we get purple? A purple should be relatively simple. Are these like fully stacked with stone? Oh, purple is an electric furnace and an electric engine. And yellow is blue circuits. Yeah, that that's gonna take a while, especially as we're um, trying to bolster our green circuit production as we speak. So that's <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, how do we make this robo port? Steel gears, red circuits. Where do we pull anything down like that? We've got like an entire robot production facility further down the line. I'm gonna go see yeah. if I can f just squeeze a robot uh, robo port production somewhere in there. What is yeah, this empty line about? We've got an empty, <laughs> empty top belt. The plastic. Something's wrong with the plastic. Uh, no, that's a reverse. We're getting stuff from. Uh, uh, isn't it empty barrels? Oh, oh it's red circuits. Red circuits. I uh, no no. no but one circuit. of the belts, the plat, which is the plastic belt, is also empty. Uh, it's not quite oh. empty, but it's stopped producing. Because. Uh, why? I don't know. This we is, this is of, what, this is what oh, we panicking. ran out of petroleum gas. Ah, you know, I was saying earlier about how we're probably going to need to uh, set up a solid fuel distribution system so that we can get rid of like one of the fuels that are filling up too quick. <laughs> and I just hear the alarm. Dab, 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 <laughs> dab, dab. Oh, is it dabbing? <laughs> nice. Yeah. A ancient, ancient dance of my culture. So what, we had too much solid fuel here, uh, yeah. not solid, um, heavy, which we're now cracking down into light. And then we're Ooh. immediately cracking it into... Into petroleum, petroleum yes. which we should then be turning into plastics and stuff. Okay, all right, that that should have helped. Yeah. Uh, question. What's this? So thing? this... <laughs> uh, no, no, no. This detects when it's empty. Yeah, and less than 100. And activates... And activates the signal, right? Yeah. Can you grab that signal and then activate the pump? This one here. 
this pump over there. I, I could, but would it not make more sense to grab the signal from this tank here and then turn the pump on when it's full? Uh, but we don't want this one to be... Uh, well... Because the way I like to do it is if we have too much of one to turn it into the next one down and then maybe like the next one down would also have a similar thing on. So you have like this trickle down system. Um, I guess. Because we might run out of petroleum jelly, at, uh, petroleum, petroleum gas, uh, <laughs> and it's not because this is full. You know, it could be for another reason. Maybe we run out of uh, oil or something like that. Um, so I like to try and keep the, the networks contained to what like is the only option. Yeah, try yeah. it then. Uh, okay, so we need cider combinator, and I've got two bits of wire. We've got pump in place. Okay, this this should be nice and easy. Can I? Set we this have up? the red and green wire in the chest right there. I already already had one. Thanks. Signal from pump from tank to decider, and then from decider to pump. When the decider receives a heavy oil signal of higher than 10,000, say, it's going to output a red one. Red one. Okay. And then when the pump receives a red of higher than zero, greater than zero, it will pump on. All right. Now this should pump out the entire time that this is over half full. Uh, it's actually 24, so let's put this up to 12. I oh, can't. Okay, we'll go with 10. That's fine. No problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> no problem with that at all. That is a lot of barrels. Yep. We should probably stop producing barrels. We probably should. Where are we putting them on the belt? Uh... Over this side. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of barrels. <laughs> it's, um... <laughs> Given that, given our cyclical <laughs> nature, I don't think we're ever going to end up needing any more barrels here. <laughs> we feed things in and out all uh, the time. I'm surprised it's not backed up more on this side. Uh, because... Actually, yeah. Yeah, there's no reason why it shouldn't have. We, we just saved it in time. That's that's good. Yeah. All right. So I was um, speaking about roboports. Let's go and get these roboports ready. <laughs> Our robot production place is not actually making anything because it's not receiving the circuits. Yep. Okay, I can do this. And bringing down mixed circuits will also help me in another thing. Yeah, I wondered how our power production during the day now that we have... How many of these? Four. Four solar panel fields. Hmm, yeah, that would be very interesting, actually. Our battery capacity is 2.9 gigajoules. Nice. The one thing that I always wanted to do in this game is uh, get to the uh, time traveling. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the 18 point whatever gigawatts. 1.21 gigawatts. Ooh, nuclear power. Nuclear. It's always good to go for the nuclear option. We've been cracking oil and cracking atoms. <laughs> Like it. And all of the nature <laughs> preserving people hate us. <laughs> Eco warriors <to> protest. <laughs> they are green because they're covered in radiation. <laughs> so, Captain. Science um, officer. We are going to end up with a lot of robots coming adding to the system very shortly. <laughs> that's good. Um, if you had the opportunity. What, the, the spacecraft opportunity? Yep. <laughs> to go back in the past and visit moments in history. Yep. Essential moments. Where would you go? You have one. It's, you can choose only one. One, two, we will see. <laughs> well, obviously, I would uh, go back to the Victorian times to witness the uh, discovery of the quantum computer core. Uh, the, the, the ancient quantum computerist uh, Bab Babbage uh, was, was well known for his uh, groundbreaking stuff. Now, some people say that quantum computing hadn't actually been uh, invented at that time, but there is a plenty of evidence uh, coming from 20th century historians to, uh, 
to say that Babbage was indeed the father of modern computing. And of course, modern computing has to be quantum computing. I mean, what else would it be? And, and so, yeah, I'd like to go see the, the witness of the birth of that. I'd also like to uh, travel to the uh, the pre-extinction times and uh, see some of the, the wonderful species, uh, such as the, 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 the rock dove, the pigeon uh, that used to exist, and the... Uh, the, the rats and the alligators. The, these things that used to be that are unfortunately no more. It's a slightly different question. Same question, but slightly different. Okay, different word. Yep, yep. Captains excel at uh, giving the same answer to differently worded questions. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> you are being sent back in time, but you're gonna live there until you die. What time do you pick? Uh, can, is last week an option? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shame. I would have liked last week to be an option. Um, <laughs> I, I suppose it would have to be... Now, people have always asked me these questions about time travel and which uh, where, where I'd like to be and stuff like that. And almost always they go... Uh, the, the people I'm talking to are like, oh, I, I would love to go to the past for such and such reasons. And it was so, it was so romantic and simple back then. No, no. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. I, I, I kind of like not being able to contract cancer. Um, I, 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 like the, I like this future that we're in. Uh, <laughs> I like the future where we have modern antibiotics. Yep, yep, I love and, it. Uh, it's amazing. And just the fact that uh, if I cut myself on a piece of metal, I'm not gonna die. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> that's very you know tetanus was a big thing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and sewers, toilet paper, the three clamshells. The, yeah, the three clamshells, man. Let's all let's all take a moment to remember the greatest invention <laughs> that has ever made its way. Uh, the three oh. clamshells, man. <laughs> who invented? Who made that up? Is a genius. That's absolute genius. I mean, like, imagine what we used to have to do, where we were like traveling around and finding leaves to to, to wipe our soil away from ourselves. That's or slightly uh, slightly put. Well, used wood, I guess. Yeah, yeah, processed wood. Yeah, yeah, uh, pulped and. Oh god! Okay, I'll put down an entire forest just to humanity can wipe. <laughs> just so they can wipe. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna say anything further than that. So <laughs> take it or leave it. I'm just doing a quick inventory sort. So still, we are not producing the number of green circuits that are required. Uh, because the copper production is dead. Oh, have we the just like... Copper mining. Have we completely emptied the copper? Do we need to now make a new train station? Yes. Okay. All right. Wonderful. <laughs> Captain, grab the car and... Oh, man. My name's Captain Twitchy, not Captain, grab the car. Thanks. Um... <laughs> Do we have another car, or do we just have the one? We just have. The one. We have. We had two. One exploded. <laughs> okay. All right. Sweet. Sweet. I think. Uh, so, do we know which copper patch we're going for? A top one next to the iron, so we can basically on the way. Okay, that's a good idea. There's a giant forest, but we have grenades. Well, yeah, we have. I, I have grenades on my hot bar right now, as we speak. In fact. Okay, I've got. I've got the car. I've got the car. Let's I see how much stuff grenades. I can break. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab more grenades. Uh, <laughs> Um, I, I just see the damage symbol rising, a number of them being no, no, increased. No, nothing, nothing's going on here. Nothing to worry about. Oh, Wait, I damaged only one thing. Why are there two things damaged? I, I'm totally stuck in side stuff. <laughs> there we go. All right, I'm good. <laughs> there are now three things damaged, Captain. <laughs> Robots will do. Uh, in fact, have we um, put... No. Put, we haven't put repairs into what a provider box. Well, I'm, I'm riding. <laughs> Why are you going this way? The gate is down there. Oh, this is true. Yeah, we do need the gate, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, that's that, it's fine. That was uh, just that's a tree. Fine. It was just a tree. It's nothing to worry about. That was a lamp. <laughs> They're all trees. Uh, Captain, we forgot something. Railroad. Uh, no, no, I got the railroad. We need landfills. Oh, landfill. Okay, yeah, that I don't have. We haven't... I didn't have to make that production, so... Uh, let's go. We can put down the rail. Let, do I have any s train station signals? No, I don't. Okay, where do we go for that? <sighs> Bye. Bye.
We should it. make a tank. We should make a tank. This is very true. We should make a tank and a explosive uh, shell depository. Honestly, I would put the flamethrower on the tank. That as well. I like the explosive shells for uh, taking over the worms. The, yeah. the big guys that spit. I don't really like night on this planet. No, the night time is mildly inconvenient. I'm going to drive through this box in my way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the night time, not the greatest. I believe we should be able to get some sort of technology from Central Command to help us look at night. Uh, but we need to... Oh, that even closer. Night where vision goggles. Yeah. It's eerily... Not even quiet. There are noises in the distance. That's it's just, the problem. It's just eerie. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm so... So we call this Lake, Lake Eerie then? Uh, obviously. Uh, after the uh, the ancient lake on Earth, where all the Halloween ghouls were said to inhabit, Lake Erie. I mean, where else would it have got its name from? One of the uh, the great lakes in America, uh, said to be the, uh, the the font of all the world's fresh water. Uh, it's how has how America got its monopoly uh, back in the old days by controlling all of the fresh water. Oh my. They're also shipping ice from there, right? Yeah, oh, no, that was the Canadian. Uh, oh, the Canadians. Yeah, I know many people got them confused even at the time, uh, and scholars uh, scholars from nowadays have an even worse time trying to tell them apart. Um, it's, <laughs> it's all about what type of boat they have, I hear. Um, Canadians have a boot, and uh, Americans have boats. <laughs> well known for their shoe-shaped shoe nautical exploits, the, the Canadians. Where are they? Oh, car's gonna take a beating if I don't move. Oh, that last spit there was very, very close to killing the car. Okay, I've got grenades in my hand. Let's not do that. Definitely oh. should make that tank. Definitely need to make that tank that we've been talking about. <laughs> I ran out of ammunition. I'm just throwing oh, grenades. I'm about to die. Well, I die's a bit strong. Yeah, I, I too am throwing grenades. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> um, Car's a little beaten up. <laughs> I have no ammunition. Uh, Alright, we should head back to uh, place. Put the parking brake on. Who needs a parking brake? What? Do we have ammunition in here? We don't have ammunition in here. Hmm, that's a bit of a shame. We should go and get more ammunition. Uh, also, player, the uh, passenger has control of the weapons here. And that's how you clear the natives. Is that all of them? Yep. Okay, good that's work. All of the that, that's some solid work. We've made a lot We're of mess. Still... <laughs> Ah, nature's gonna take care of it. Um, oh, we should. Uh, no, this is just iron. We don't need iron yet. Uh, should we continue up? I don't have any landfills to go for the lake. No, I don't yet either, unfortunately. And we need ammunition to take care of that. By the base next to the copper. Okay, uh, let me put this one here and then we'll turn around and go get some of the, those things. Yep. I like the fact that trees just fold. I like the fact that we don't go for the windshield. Wow, it's got all these iron bars across it. We're, we're kind of <laughs> alright. Now... We need so, to clear those trees out so I can have a straighter run at this. <laughs> <laughs> but you were saying, please continue. <laughs> uh, you did mention that you wouldn't go back in time to any Victorian era or to live there. Yeah, to live. To live sounds horrific. I, I would much rather uh, live in the current time. Uh, in fact, I like to continue my uh, my current velocity into the future with all due haste. Uh, if there was a way of speeding that up, uh, I would do so. Obviously, Captain School, as you remember, was held around a black hole to compress time in for us. So uh, uh, we have gone uh, to the future as fast as possible. <laughs> I think we went, we went over this once. And I think <laughs> we completely disagree how compression of time 
around the black hole works, but none of them, <laughs> none of us are actually experts in it. Well, Mr. So. Science Officer, what would you know? Um, wait, what are these? Oh, they're the, uh, okay. Grenades. Yeah. Okay, we need some bullets, which I believe are down here. Yes. Uh, they're not in a provider chest. Can I get the stuff to make another provider chest? Uh, if I could, that would be great, because then I could make... Oh, it's the steel that I'm sure of. How, how un very unusual. Because <laughs> then I could just ask the robots for, for ammo, rather than having to come and find it all the time. My bullets. I don't have any bullets. I am also out of bullets. How many shall I request? 600? Because that's, that's three sets of, like, immediate stacks. Oh, there's this one little logistics robot moving two... two uh, bullets at a time into my inventory. There we go. All the crew started. Nice. <laughs> that is fine. That is fine. All of this is fine. Everything is fine. Right. Do we have explosives anywhere? We have grenades. Yeah. So the the can the tank shells run off of explosives. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. I think we need explosives to make. So no, we don't actually. Yeah. No. We've got. We see. Uh, do we not have the tank? No, we don't have the tank research. Oh, okay, we'll carry yeah. on with the nuclear and not worry about that for a little bit then. <laughs> we developed the nuke before the tank. Hmm. Well, we're, the we're all about offense here. Would be completely <laughs> different if that was the case. Nukes first, Actually, people. Who will win? <laughs> oh, I'm driving. Nope. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're welcome uh, to drive we, if you want. Did we put ammunition into the car? Oh, yes, not into the. Oh, oh, did it go? Oh, yes. Okay, now, now I'm driving, okay. Oh, look at this oil field here. I haven't spotted this. Mm -mm. Yeah. Beautiful. You can run a train up here for that as well. Yes. We can all put it in one line because that's efficient. Well, as long as we signal well, have some turn places and stuff like that, and have some passing places. The same rock. The same rock. That's all right. Eventually, I'll take it out. I'm going to go through this tree. <laughs> you can tell I meant to because I started speaking beforehand. And go over this way. Nice. <laughs> oh, good work, good work. We can get the biters and... Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good. That is quick work of that. I died. Oh, this is bad. Do we have to reload at that point? No. No? Okay, well, cool. I, I respawned, but no, my, none of my stuff is... Oh, okay, I need to run back to you. <laughs> I was going to ask, is the stuff up here? Uh, wait. Death isn't permanent on this planet? <laughs> Looks like not. Welcome to uh, Nirvana. We, we have made it. Oh, I told you this place oh, didn't no. seem right. <laughs> you, you, you alright? I almost got run over by a train. train. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so obviously this must mean that we are in Nirvana. I, I thought this was some sort of test. I thought this was something from high command to see whether we are, uh, are worthy. But is it in fact science officer? The fact that only you and me were righteous enough to make it to heaven. Uh, I'm, or maybe I'm just a reconstruction of the previous science officer? Possibly. As an AI? You, it could be. It could be. I, I choose to believe that we are the ones that were worthy enough to make it into this uh, glorious afterlife. And it's definitely not we're the only ones that made it to uh, purgatory. <laughs> it's it's kind of empty if it is... It is kind of empty. No, one. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> something tells me it might not be no one. <laughs> Are you saying we've not attained pure enlightenment enough to move on to the next next spiritual existence? <laughs> I mean, if it is next for a spiritual existence, why are we doing any work then? Why are we trying to get out to the planet then? To, to give us a sense of purpose, right? It must be. Uh, to give us a sense of purpose, okay. Ah, here's so our more purpose rock. is to fight uh, natives. Oh, are you saying our purpose is anything different? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we ruining the planet? The planet is <laughs> ours to play with. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> uh, hello, <laughs> Is my body still there? <laughs> uh, I don't know actually. Let's go and have a look. I uh, I came gathering more stone for landfill. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this me running back like this is just just one word, one movie quote goes through my head. Run for us. Run. run. Where is my body? 
Oh, did they lose everything? Oh, that would be fun. That it there? Oh, no, no, here you are. Here you are. You're over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, all of my stuff. Okay, so cool. I, I can see my own dead body. Yeah, it's a little disturbing. I mean, <laughs> having to having to look at you um, in that putrefied, rotten state. A little much. With that science officer, we've put down a whole load of stuff. We have... Uh, Solved a few of our supply issues. Uh, by stuff, I mean rail, of course. Uh, sorry, High Command. Should be more explicit with my words. Uh, <laughs> we have uh, also got very close to making thousands upon thousands of robots. Uh, but we just need to make some sort of roboport for them now. <laughs> but <laughs> with that... I died. <laughs> uh, you died. Well, yeah, we, we've, we've realized that... Uh, whoa. High Command. Are you High Command? Please let us know. Captain's log. <laughs> Signing off.